Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Trending Thursday. My name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectVest. Always glad to be here. Always glad to have you here. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you can hear me, by all means, means, please respond in the affirmative to let me know that I am coming across loud and clear. It's a good, thing to see, good day to see you, Jay. The last um, live stream we had, you weren't here. Hopefully, you're all right. Roger can hear me. Manju can hear me. Uh, Nirajan is here. Good afternoon, Nirajan. <coughs> Mark is here. John is here. Loud and clear up here in freezing Boston. You know, you know what the temperature is today in Charlotte? 80 degrees. Let me check right now. The temperature right now is 77 with a high of 80 degrees today. Holy smokes. It is warm as the dickens here. For all you guys, though, that are getting the cold weather, be careful out there. I'm hearing that, you know, there's a lot of storms coming across the Midwest and from the West and all that kind of stuff. You guys be careful. You guys be careful. You guys be careful. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think we're doing softball practice today uh, at 6 o'clock. So Jay says, all good midday on Wednesday conflicts with Ron's option spread session. I got you. I understand. That VIX found support today. Ah, and interesting, the VIX is down, but the market is still down as well. That's not normally how it works. As a matter of fact, if you look to the left, um, the VIX is not shown here, but the VIX is down today as well as the market. And uh, we got a little bit of fear going on in the market uh, with the VIX going, no, actually we got a little bit of greed going on in the market with the VIX down. But the market is down as well. I think that overall, there's still more downside. There's still some more, there's a lot more downside to the market. Uh, GDP came out today. The market is showing strength. Uh, the Fed minutes came out yesterday. The Fed is still more hawkish. Um, put those two things together. The Fed is in a, in a tight spot right now, trying to figure out if he's going to continue to raise rates, which I think he is. And I did, if you follow me on Twitter, I put out a story that someone, there's an analyst out there saying that the terminal rate has got to go up to 8%. That's a lot of percent. But the overall goal is to get inflation down to 2%. So, man, this is, this is becoming a very strange market. And Joey's got a poll. How many of you, how many of you are comfortable uh, how many of you are nervous in this market that we've got right now? Joey's going to put the poll up there. How many of you are nervous in this current market right now? All right. And if you, you know, answer the poll, not in the chat, answer on the poll. And um, it's, it's very interesting. It's an interesting market. And me, even as a instructor here at the Vector Vest system, um, I am in and out, this is more of a trader's market more so than a long-term market. Even though in our live streams, I do give some longer-term stocks to take a look at. But also keep in mind that the trend of the market affects about 80% of the stocks that are in the market. So no matter how good a stock is, even from a swing trade perspective, you've got to have your stops in place. You've definitely got to have your stops in place. Uh, I still, I'm not gonna consider myself to be nervous. Uh, I am going to consider myself to be a lot more cautious in what I do. I think that that for me is a better word than nervous. And I think that as a VectorVest subscriber, we've provided you with all of the information, all of the tools that you're going to need so that you're not nervous in the market. And for those of you who are saying that you're nervous in the market, all I can, all I can say is just trust with the system, with the VectorVest system is providing for you. That's, that's what it is. Imanu says not ner Oops. Imanu says not nervous. Uh, oh, hold on. I think I got something of yours over here, Joey. Hold on. Let me see if I give it back to you. I give that back over to you over here. All right. And let me move this back over to here. All right. Uh, not nervous was net short on February 16th. Been up since then. Also, if it were losses, still wouldn't have been nervous. There you go. And I love hearing that. And that's coming from a person who is a Vector Vest subscriber. And that's what we do. We provide you with the information that you're going to need to make the right decisions. 
And I, Mike says, I've never seen a market this volatile. One minute up, next minute down. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to clear this chat. I, I'm going to say that that a lot of that, Mike, is what I still consider to be uh, irrational. It is irrational exuberance. There's nothing in the market right now in the current market's conditions that give any indication that the market should be rising. And then we've got the days and the weeks where the market is rising and everybody thinks everything is hunky-dory. And then the, the, the Fed puts the kibosh on that when you hear more about a hawkish Fed. So Dan says the market continues to push up expectations for Fed funds terminal rate this year, nearly five and a quarter or five and a half and is working towards erasing expectations for rate cuts by the end of the year. I, how many of you, this is, this, is, this is interesting. How many of you um, think that the Fed will cut rates by the end of the year, type of one? If you don't think we're anywhere near that, type of two. All right, how many of you think that the Fed will cut rates by the, air, uh, by the end of the year, type of one? I am on the side of two. I am definitely on the side of two that it doesn't happen. Inflation is that big of a problem. It is that big of a problem. And he's going to have to aggressively keep going after inflation. And if the job market doesn't pull back, he's going to keep having to raise, folks. There's no getting around that. And I think that no matter how optimistic you want to be, I just don't see that happening. I just don't see that happening. Uh, Michael says they will raise guidance again. And that's what I think that the next thing is going to happen. Told you yesterday, mark my words. I think that even if we have a quarter basis point or a half base point next month, that he's going to, the next thing he's going to say is that we're going to move from the 5% terminal rate to at least 6% terminal rate. Mark my words. I don't think he can get around that. I think that once we hit that 5% and inflation is not down to 2%, he's going to have to raise the terminal rates. He's going to have to raise. They will have to cut rates to pay the debt. And the, now, that's, that's the other side of the coin, Lee. And, and I'm with you on that. Lee says they will have to cut rates just to pay the debt interest. True. But what if they cut the rates? and inflation starts to run up again because the economy gets hot again, Lee, then what? That's an honest question. Then what? Do they start this all over again or do they come back and say, oh man, we screwed up. We cut rates too early and inflation goes up again. So um, we'll see. We'll see. I love having these conversations before we get started. We got 269 people here. You know me. I want to try to get us 300 people. Folks, get on there. Share the link. Joey's going to put the link in there. Share this link right now. Let's get 300 people in this room. There's a lot of questions out there by a lot of people, and we want to try to be able to answer those questions in um, a good fashion so that people, you know, I got no agenda here. I'm not, I, I, I'm not bullish. I'm not bearish. I want to take what the market gives us, but I want to give us a better understanding of what's going on in the market so that you guys can make a decision. Dan says markets are panicking about short-term interest rates. And I, I don't disagree with that. Energy is moving today, Dan. It is. But, you know, uh, we got 55,000 and 300 people gold in the room today. I, 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 listen, I'm, I'm taking baby steps, right? I'm trying to make this channel grow, but I, I need you guys to do that. And I need... You know, we really do need to touch a lot more people out there in the market than we do right now. All right. So there we go. Um, uh, w. Phillips says, sorry, just saying we need a 2009 style washout. I, I think that we got to we got to reset. I, I think that the pain has got to come at some point in time. We're going to feel it. It's going to suck. But we got to go through it in order to get better. All right. And I was a big proponent as he was raising interest rates early to do 100 basis points. It never happened. I think it's too late to do it now. Uh, but I was a big proponent. Take the Band-Aid off. Let's just go after it. Get closer to your uh, terminal rate a lot faster than where we are right now. And then I keep hearing the other side. That's going to kill the economy. Well, what, what do we? Would you rather take the Band-Aid off right now or would you rather have death by a thousand cuts? I guess we've got we to talk about that. Which one is it? I've been dieting for two days and already won a milkshake. You know why? 
I think, Mash, your milkshake brings all the girls to the yard. That's right. It's better than theirs. So, um, <laughs> I don't have a laugh yet, Joey. I need a laugh. I need a laugh. That's not even, I, I, I'll put crickets, though. I'll put crickets. I need, I need a laugh button. I need a laugh button. All right. Real men wear pink. This is not pink. This is light red. This ain't pink. All right. Just put that out there. This, this, this ain't pink. Uh, if you're that certain, Glenn, what conchas are you buying? Oh, great question, Pecan. I got something for you. And I'm going to show you just how well conchas are doing right now, but we talked about that. I've got some conchas for you. All right. I don't need a laugh for that. I need a sigh. You know, Joey, I think we need a laugh and a sigh. I think we need a laugh and a sigh. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if we do. All right. So, um... And Fire Blazer, as, as, as much as you talk, you got that sense right there. I'm going to invest in funeral homes. People are just dying to get in. That's, that's, that's my new car crash button. That's my new car crash button. All right, with that, let's get into the software real quick. And let's go see what the market looks like. All right, let's go see what the market looks like. I have a level of support on our vector vest composite sitting at the value of 57.16 we're right below it just by a little bit trading today at 57.15 so we're right below it that level of support on the market going down is important because if it goes down below it we still have a next level of support sitting at 54.91 and then another level sitting at 53.22 so does the market have some more downside especially no it's not pink no all right, fine. All right. How about this? Um, Joey, is this pink? Yes or no? We'll ask Joey. Is this pink? Yes or no? Yeah. Ooh. Joey can't hear that, but I just put the I just put the boo in there. It's not pink. It's it's light red. That's why I, it's, it's light red. All right. Uh, Alan says, love the five percent price rate for parking my cash while I wait. And you know something? <laughs> As the interest rates go up, a lot more people are going to be taking their money out of the market. That's another reason why the market will go down too. Earnings, a lot of companies are missing earnings. A lot of big names are starting to miss earnings and guide lower. Um, interest rates are still going up. Inflation is still a problem, even though it's it's peaked and come back down. Those are the three things that miss, that, that, uh, that move markets globally. All right. It's salmon, a manly and sporty color. I like that. It's salmon. It ain't pink. It's salmon. Look at the presidential cycle. Average third year. This should be an up year. This is not an average cycle, uh, Ben. Look at all of the debt that we have. Look at all of the pop off of uh, inflation. This is not. It, how many of you agree with that? That this is not an average cycle that we're going through type of one if you agree with that type of two if you don't how many of you agree that this market condition that we're going through right now is not a normal cycle type of one if you don't believe that and you feel that this is just normal type of two now as i say that this is not to scare anybody or anything i I am just looking at what we see on paper. I look at the debt. I look at trying to finance the debt. I look at the spending. There's so much in the current market scenario, which, uh, in the current market scenario, that I, I doubt very seriously that this is not the normal cycle of market movement. And with that, if you agree with that, uh, I think this is just why you need a system like vector vest to help you in this situation. So as I go back to the market timing graph, this level is holding right now. We still got the primary wave is down. We still got the confirmed call is down. Let's go see about the DEW. The DEW is down as well. The majority of our market timing signals are down. We've been moving lower, and as you see this trend line, before I start to think that this market's got legs to the upside, I'm looking for a couple of things. Do we continue to move higher from this level of support? Number one, 
All right, number one. And number two, does the three and the eight cross back up? And then number three, do we break this downtrend? I think that as you look at the market timing graph that tracks the move of over 9,000 stocks, that this is a good way um, to, to really see what's going on. Oh, you want me to take that? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, um, are you nervous about the trade in the market? 68% of the people said yes, and 31% of the people said no. We had 139 votes. Wow. All right. So let me address the people who are nervous in the market. Let's do that. One, we have market timing signals that'll help you to get in and out of the market at the right times. Two, I can clearly look at the movement of over 9,000 stocks to get a better feel of what's going on in the market right now. Folks, no need to be nervous. There's one market timing signal giving you a down call. Here's another market timing signal giving you a down call. Here's the third signal giving you a down call. From the standpoint of taking advantage of what's currently going on in the market, telling you you should not be playing the market to the upside right now. And if you are, it's gonna be a more aggressive, speculative move. And as long as you know that, you're gonna be in good company, all right? Even, the, even if I get an up day, I've got all of these other things going against me, the Fed, the news, all that stuff. All I'm letting you know is just be very careful. If we go back to the homepage real quick, um, if we go back to the homepage real quick, do I do it this way? Yep. If we go back to the homepage real quick, what's the main color you see? Those nervous people. What's the main color you see in the color guard? Yellow. What does that mean? If nothing else, be cautious. I don't have a real defined trend in the market. Even though the market's pulling down, I've got a lot of yellow in the color guard right now. So again, I wanted to address the people who were nervous. There's a lot of people out there uh, who are watching this right now that are nervous, I'm just telling you, let the market come to you. Don't go against the trend of the market. The trend of the market affects about 80% of the stocks in the market. Even if you feel that you're in a darn good stock, all that yellow tells you to be careful. Does that make sense to everybody out there who's nervous? Does that at least make sense to you? Type a yes or a no. For all of those people who voted on that poll, that you were nervous, does that at least make sense to you? I'm not trying to change your mind, all right? I want you to start to take baby steps in understanding the power behind the VectorVest software to help you to make better decisions and not to be nervous. I don't want you to be nervous. I just want you to at least adhere and pay attention to what the system is telling you. All right, now back off from that. Let's talk about... Um, my stocks that I got for you today, all right? You know, I always gonna bring stocks to the table. Notice I never tell you what stocks to buy, but I will tell you what stocks to keep on your radar. And I will give you reasons why I want you to keep those stocks on your radar. Someone posted on YouTube and said, you know, I've been watching your channel and every time, I, every time you talk about a stock, I lose money. And I stand back and I said, how many of the videos that I've shown that we've done preparing you for 2023 are stocks that have made money. And I never said that every stock I'm going to talk about on this channel is gonna be a profitable one. But I can say this right now, and this is only two months into the year, the searches or the, the portfolios that I've set up for the year, whether it was uh, the stocks for 2023, dividend paying stocks, um, um, uh, what's the other thing? Uh, commodity stocks, they're all making money. I've done videos on them, and they're all still making money, even in the current market's condition, all right? So um, I, I'm not sure where that came from unless the person bought a stock that I talked about and lost money and now is saying, oh, your stocks are, all right, that's up to you. I give you the reasons behind it, but ultimately it's up to you to make the decision. All right, so now the VIX is down, the VIX is down and the market's starting to come back up again. And Mike is right. This is, you know, up one minute, down the next minute. And we're still above 20 on the VIX, so which is the volatility on the S&P 500, how volatile the market is. Man, it is, it is what it is. And all I'm telling you is whether you're long or you're short, I do have a couple of contras that I'm holding right now on top of the stocks that I'm holding long. All right, those were to offset 
the losses in the stocks that I'm holding long. It was a hedge. My conscious were the hedge. Are they making money today? They're probably not, but I'm still going to hold them because as I look at the graph, the graph is not telling me any different. We're still in this downtrend, the three and the eight haven't crossed. So by way of that, I'm not going to get shaken out of those positions until the market really wants to tell me that it's moving back up. All right, now let's talk about the news that's moving the stocks. And we can do that real quick. Uh, the economy, this is today, economy showing strength, GDP, in early 2023, after the last quarter's GDP gain, revised modestly lower. Output expanded 2.7% in the final quarter of 2022, which again, puts the Fed in a tough situation of, of raising interest rates into still a growing economy. I put the growing in air quotes because the economy has shrunk. The economy has shrunk except for the job space. All right. How about this? Keeping online with AI. I love the AI space and I don't think that it's a fad. I've done a video, a couple of videos on AI stocks. It ain't a fad. And, you know, every day I keep finding more and more articles that talk about it. AI mania propels NVIDIA value by nearly $200 billion this year. All right. Keeping in mind with that as well, Microsoft inks an NVIDIA game deal uh, to assuage. Is that the right? Did I say that way? Assuage? Somebody type in the chat. Am I saying that correct? Regulators over Activision merger, which could be uh, Joey is a, is a big player of Call of Duty. I haven't played it in a minute because Joey won't won't play with me because my kill death ratio is so low. I think that's wrong. I think everybody in the room is assuage. Is assuage? Is that what it is? All right. I just wanted it's assuage. Thank you. Assuage. It looks like. Thank you. That that's why I asked. I didn't want to sound like a total idiot. But I think everybody in the room should let Joey know that he should allow me to play Call of Duty with him. All right, so type it in the room. Joey should play Call of Duty with Glenn. And then Microsoft on the AI front uh, launches its all new AI powered Bing. Wow, did you really? Oh, okay. I thought you put that other that about playing Call of Duty up there. All right, I thought you put um, Call of Duty. I got another uh, poll up there. Do you think the market has um, more upside or more downside? Do you think the market has more upside or more downside? All right, so the Microsoft AI powered Bing on mobile is probably most likely going to be using the chat GPT, which I love. I think it's a great tool. How many of you have started using chat GPT at all? Type of one in the room. I think it's an awesome tool. I, it can do so much. Uh, if you haven't touched chat GPT yet, uh, type a two in the room. I'm, I'm feeling it. I like it a lot. It's really interesting. It's really, really interesting. If you, you know, I think you have to go to www.chat, open chat, open chat, AI, something like that.com. It's, it's fun. It really is fun. Be careful using, using it. If you're trying to get specific factual data, uh, I like to use it for the opportunity to get ideas. I think it's, if you haven't tried it, my suggestion is uh, try it. Paul says, I signed up for the Bing AI yesterday. AI, folks, is not a flash in the pan. I in this uh, Monday's video, I'm going to provide you with seven, I think seven inexpensive, really cheap AI stocks. Don't miss the 6 p.m. video uh, on uh, Monday. All right, now let's get into EVs. Fisker announces partnership with ChargePoint. Why is that important? I've tweeted on Twitter. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, search for Glenn Tompkins Jr. I, I tweeted on Twitter that the biggest things that people are having an issue with when it comes down to EVs is the cost of the car in the electric grid. Uh, I got, I tweeted a company, it was Hyundai. Hyundai was putting out an all electric vehicle for like $46,000 or something like that. Tesla's got a version of an electric car sitting at about 32,000. And then I tweeted a company also on Twitter that there's a company putting out a car for like 20, uh, it might've been Tesla, might've been Tesla putting out a car for like $25,000. All right. So, um, Mark, what, what is that that you just put in? What is, what is that? 
Ah, yeah. That's a car crash too. What is that? I don't even understand what that is. AMD is a good play as well, U12. AMD is a good play as well. I and we, if you already know, we do have a whole listing of AI stocks on the system for you as well. Uh, Stellantis to replicate European EV success in US teases the Ram EV van. A lot of people are looking at Stellantis because of another company of which I will not talk about in here. All right. I know a couple of you know what company I'm talking about, but this whole Ram, depending on what kind of motor it comes out with, is going to give a lot of backup for a specific company and what they do. So a lot of people are looking at Stellantis um, and we'll see what happens. The 2024 Ram ProMaster EV will be unveiled in the first half of this year. We'll go on sale in North America in the second half. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, Lucid, uh, there's no alternative to stocks is helping stocks less because of higher rates for savings. Rick, uh, I'm gonna go with you know, again, a lot of people are jumping out of the stock market because they're getting higher rates, higher interest rates on the money that they have in cash. And I think slowly but surely as interest rates rise, more and more people will start pulling their money out of the market again, which will drive the market lower. Lucid dropped 17% as output forecast raises concern over cash. Again, with any EV, in order for me to be on the, the, uh, on, on the case of any EV, the rubber meets the road when they can deliver on product. All right, Lordstown falls on recall, making cars can be hard. And Lordstown is another one out there that was also brought up, uh, backed up by Amazon, I think, or was it just Lucid? Anyway, um, a hard day for the the whole EV space today. I can't get higher rates from Fire Blazer. Hush, man needs a truck. Says that I got a truck. I got a truck. I got me a 2001 Ford Excursion. Love it. It goes from zero to 60 in three days. And I love it. So it's a 40 gallon tank. No diesel. It's an eight cylinder. No diesel. Love my truck. I love my truck. Pecan says laddered more CD and treasury today, but by uh, bit by bit, 5% guaranteed short term. Nothing wrong with that. Again, I think it's going to keep pulling a lot of people out of the market as well. I'm glad Lucid dropped better pricing for me. Saudis have invested heavily with expectations. Saudis, Lucid factories coming. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Just the story though. I got the story out there. All right. With that, let's get into the system. Let's go see what my big new stocks are. All right. So with the news that I just put out there, Let's go see NVIDIA. Someone said about AMD. I'm going to put AMD in this list. I do like AMD as well. Let's go see NVIDIA and AMD by VST are right hand in hand. NVIDIA has got the better combination of value, safety, and timing. But AMD is more well-rounded in that it's got good upside potential with relative value, good safety. RT is right at one, but more fundamentally sound than NVIDIA. <coughs> so the person... Uh, O-C-E-A. What is O-C-E-A, Chuck? O-C-E-A. Let's see if I can find it. And S-N-P-S. We'll see. S-N-P-S. What is S-N-P-S? Market rising during your call. And that's fine. So I still ask the question. I still ask the question. What is out there pushing the market higher? What news? What things have changed to push the market higher today? Can someone give me an answer? Can someone give me an answer? I, I'm just curious to know. Oh, I think we're giving away a mug. You got to stay to the end though. LAC, that's a good stock. I like that. And actually it shows up in one of my lists today as well, Fireblazer. Shows up in one of my lists as well. All right, uh, Stellantis, look at that up 3.79%. All right, I'm thinking that that could be close to some news being released about a motor. We'll see. We will see. Short covering, you think that's what it is in the Rajan? War uh, in Europe will end, and essentially Russia has lost. Mar has lost. Well, we'll see. I I don't know how close we are to that, Ulrich. I don't I don't I don't know how close we are to that. Bulls over exuberance. That's the only thing that's moving the market higher. Microsoft with its AI with chat, uh, charge uh, charge point. Keep your eyes on this. There's a lot of infrastructure money going into the grid right now. Keep your eyes on ChargePoint. And then my three, 
Uh, EV companies are all feeling pain today, pain and hurt. Now, hottest industries, what industries are rising even in the current markets conditions for those people who are nervous? We have the means. Uh, let's go to the unit search. We have the means. I have a search that I've created uh, specifically for the YouTube people. Uh, whereas I'm looking for industry relative timing, um, 10 days sorted. And then 10 days ago, I want to compare the relative timing, the difference in the, the delta of uh, relative timing 10 days ago until right now to give me a feel of what industries are moving. And when I run this, when I run this search, right, it'll clearly show me the stocks that have a delta. There he is. Do you think the market has more upside than downside? 77% said downside and 22% said uh, more upside. 93 votes. All right. I still think, you know, and I'm on the side of, I still think that the market has more downside. But Joey, you need to put a poll up if people, uh, if, if people think that you should allow me to pay Call of Duty with you. You need to put that up. NATO is on the news now. What is NATO saying? Don't worry about the market. Glenn has a search for that. Pro I got, I got to search for everything for you. All right. Retail drug stores, 7% change in Delta last week and over the last 10 days up 37 percent that is an industry that is on the rise so i ran i looked at the stocks i right clicked i viewed the stocks in the industry group and i cherry picked some stocks for you that i want to take a look at all right so there were only six stocks in that industry and then for everybody out there who still knows shipping is on the rise Shipping companies, look at that, 17.86% 10 days ago, only 6% higher in the last 10 days, but on the rise, this is where the money is going. Someone asked me about the best ETFs, short ETFs to take a look at. Again, we're going to get there, but that's, how about a system automatically bringing that to my attention? I bringing that to my attention in regards to what's going on in the market. So I still go after or still talk to the people who are nervous about the market. The vector vest system has a unique way of keeping you on top of one market timing, but in this case, still showing you what industries are rising in the current market's conditions. So I looked at all of the searches, uh, all of the industries that had a rise over the last 10 days, and I put them into this uh, into this watch list, SMCI, Tanker, Tanker, and uh, Rite Aid. And what we're gonna do, should Joey let Glenn play Call of Duty with him even though his KD is, it's not below 0.5, it's right at one. It's right at one, it's not below 0.5, it's right at one, it's like 1.03. It's not below 0.5, everybody will vote. Wow, how is, did you really put, how is someone that bad? Really? I am not at 0.5 as KD. It is like 1.03. Anyway, uh, we're going to see what these stocks look like next week before I put new stocks in here. I think we're going to start seeing how the hottest industries going through that process, how it has worked or not. All right, we'll see. Glenn, I think the market is up due to NVIDIA positive results and projections. Jerry, I don't know if NVIDIA is that big to move the market. Apple, I can say yes. Uh, Google, I can say yes. Tesla, I can say yes. I don't think that I can say that about NVIDIA, Jerry. I don't think it's that big for to change the market that big. That's my opinion, though. That's my opinion. All right. So we're going to take a look and see what these stocks look like next week. Um, swing trade today. Um, even though this is trending Thursday, uh, you know, I've said that I want to look at some of the systems that we talked about in Tampa today, one of them was swing trading, and I'm going to show you a couple of swing trading techniques uh, from the EMA squeeze. Again, I don't show that here because it is a perk of taking the swing trading course. You then get the layout or the, um, the pieces of the EMA squeeze to set it up as a search. So I won't do it here, but I can run the search and give you some examples of stocks that meet the EMA squeeze. Um, here they are, man. Nice. Some, a lot of these are up nicely today. Let's do, do a graph of them. This is from a swing trade perspective. So I'm going to put it on a three month graph. 
And I'm going to go to the graph layout for EMA squeeze, which I should have. There it is, EMA squeeze. And what it's looking at is four different moving averages, a five, a eight, a 13, and a 50. And when the stock's price goes above all three, all four, it hits the list. Now, GSM hits, but a lot of selling on today's candle. I'd be, I'd be cautious with that. It does meet the criteria, but I'd be cautious with that. When market has been crashing, only stock that was up was Tesla recently. I like Tesla. I've done a couple of videos on Tesla. I think as soon as Elon Musk pulls his energy from Twitter and can put it back into Tesla, Tesla's going to be off and running. I want to try swing. Stop it, Fireblazer. NVIDIA volume seems to indicate institutional buying. And that's fine. I, I just, I don't know if that's the main stock that's moving it. And if it is, then so be it. I just usually don't think that it's NVIDIA, but NVIDIA has been hyped up, especially because of AI. And NVIDIA is being hyped up because Microsoft and NVIDIA going after uh, Activision. All right, so there's a couple of things moving NVIDIA. Here's another stock, LNG. Ooh, is this the right time to get back into LNG? As an EMA squeeze, All as the stock is above all four moving averages, very little wick at the top. I like this. I like this LNG play. It's been a tough play most recently, but I'm liking that it was found as an EMA squeeze stock. Very little wick at the top. Nice open candle. Keep your eyes on that. Next one in the list is LXU. A lot of wick at the top and the bottom. A little bit of a spinning top, but is above all four moving averages. I'd be careful with that one. Wow. NADL, I don't even know who that is. But hitting a new one-month high has to be news-driven. Was it earnings? Yup, it was earnings play. Earnings play, big jump up, nice open candle. The wick is not nearly as big as the body. I would definitely keep your, I keep my eyes on that. Uh, John says, I like LNG gas. I cannot lie. LNG is an earnings play. And you know something? Let's go back to LNG. LNG was an earnings play, but man, that's a big move. Let's go put this on a three month graph. Let's put this on a six month graph. Last earnings, put it on this. Uh, six months, put on a one year earnings. Nice move on earnings there. Uh, topped out at earnings here. Oof, got killed on earnings here. I like the move. I like the move. I look at relative value, relative safety, both above one. Fundamentally sound stock earnings. Nice move up. I like it. I like the play. I like that stock, and I cannot lie. All right, let's go. Put this back on to um, a three-month graph. SVMLY, this stock is all over the place, but it met the criteria. Look at it coming up, a lot of gappiness. Be careful with that. It met the criteria. I'd be super careful with that one. All right, so that's stocks from the EMA squeeze. Uh, the DEW swingers, which was done by David Paul in Tampa. Uh, let's go to Tampa. Tampa 23, David Paul, DEW Swingers. Simple search for those of you who have Vector Vest. Very simple search. Stock comfort index, it is around the comfort index. The price growth persistence. Stocks that can consistently go up and not, you know, they can withstand long and lengthy price declines. So these are stocks that consistently going up. 50 day moving average, sort of, uh, 50 day moving average greater than 200,000 shares. And the sort is CI times growth. All right. So I've got some stocks. I ran the search, found some stocks for you. Uh, let's graph these. And actually, I'm going to put this on to a three-month graph because it's a swing trade. And I'm going to go back to my 3.8 uh, trade. There it is, the 3 and the 8. Look at that, a tanker. Look at that shipping companies, man, on the rise. On the rise. As a swing trade, I may like this. Very little wick at the top of the candle. All right. Uh, TRMD, a, a, a petroleum stock, new uh, three-month high. Look at the pullback on the three and the eight, and look at that. That's why CI is so important. Stocks that can consistently go up and are you know are not susceptible to big pullbacks and declines. That's why I like it as a swing trade. Uh, INSW, look at the three and eight end of day, almost crossed down below, but did not. Continuation today. 
Now from a three uh, from a swing trade, not exactly bottom left to top right, but most recently coming off two levels of support and rising, I'd like to see if we could take out the three month high. Same thing with Vista. Another petroleum stock, the 3.8, never crossed end of day. Nice open candle today. Dr. Paul has one of the best and simple approaches to beating the market. Worth studying just for everyone. And Brian, I'm with that 100%. Uh, what is the difference between TK and TNK? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, no. Uh, let's go to viewers. Let's go. I'll do it here. TNK. Let's go to TK. TK shipping. One is, says partners and one says shipping. So that's a good question. Let me go see what uh, the analysis report says on it. The analysis report says it operates through a tanker and ship to ship transfer segment. Let's go TK shipping, view the stock analysis report. Uh, and uh, Crude and marine transportation services, its lines of business include offshore production and conventional tank. It's a little different. It seems like this little uh, TK is a technical knockout. Wow, fire blazer. Um, one is shipping and one is, I, you know, I'd have to do a little bit more research to try to find out. I, I, I could find out who asked me that. Who asked me that question? That was John. Let me see what I can find out before my next live stream. Remind me if you're here for my next live stream. All right, remind me if you're here for my next live stream. See what I can find out. All right, let's go finish this list out. Oh, wow, Sting, another shipping company. Look at end of day to 388 held and now rebounding once again. Let's close that out. There was nothing in the bow tie um, search by David Paul. Uh, speculative plays. How many of you are speculative plays? All right, Eddie Pendergrass sings TKO. No, it's it's Teddy Pendergrass. It's it's Teddy. Looks like another love TKO. I guess I better let it go. Let it go. Looks like another love TKO. It's Teddy. All right, Glenn, I need your guidance. I'm uh, I right, I'm gonna see if I can get that stock up there for you, uh, Chuck. Um, speculative plays. My speculative plays relative value, relative safety. Not there, but relative timing is. So these are these are stocks you're super careful with, but they could have potential to go up. Let's put this on a one month graph. Luck and coffee hitting a new one month high, three and eight over the last month has been looking good. Next, pulled back, found a level of support. Nice cross on three eight today. Very little wick at the top. Again, fundamentally these stocks are not good. But they're on the rise right now. RVNC coming off a level of support, 3.8 crossing. I got a little bit of give back right there, $34 stock. I'd really like to see if we can take out the one month high. Uh, VKTX, look at that graph over the last month. Nice looking graph, 3.8 doing a solid job keeping you in the stock. Remember, again, these stocks are not fundamentally sound, but they seem to be on the rise on good volume. All right, so I will, before we go, I'm not gonna even show my picks today. Before we go, I will look at some of your picks today. There's a few of them. OC, I'm only gonna look at about five. OCEA, oh, I don't have it. I don't track it. I don't track OCEA, Chuck. All right, so, but I will look at SNPS, comma, LAC. While I'm doing this, Joey, do you wanna do the giveaway on a mug today? And if so, give me a give me um, a word that they got to put in. UV, comma. Wow, you gave me a lot, Steve. But I will look at AI. I want to give other people a chance. Ocean Biomedicals. Ocean. I don't have it. It's not in my system. It's something that we've got to take a look at getting added into there. No. No, no, you guys keep giving me pink. Oh, did Joey put that in the room? Did the word, really Joey, you really put in pink? Wow, wow, all right, fine. We almost got close to uh, 300 viewers today. We almost got close to it, just didn't quite happen. So Joey put that, how about everyone just buy a mug? I have several of them and I'm using a wine cooler for my coffee, it works great, all right. Uh, I'm going to see if we can get OCEA 
and uh, added to the list uh, to our to our data. I need one more stock. I need one more EMKR. Thank you, John. EMKR. And is this five stocks? I think it is. Yep. So let me take a look at these real quick. These are five stocks that you've given to me. Joey will let me know who wins. Glenn, check out the daily reversal on the indexes. Just bought a round trip and will de- ah, did we? What did the market do? We still look at that. Less and less of a closed candle, which means buying pressure is coming in from today's level of support. Buying pressure is coming in. If that's the case, anybody holding triple leverage contracts, be careful. Don't let them run away from you. I'm still holding mine because again, the first thing I'm really looking for is to, is to watch the 388. But do remember that triple leverage can kill you quick. So if you are holding triple leverage, just be careful, okay? If you are holding triple leverage, just be careful. Um, it's not mug. Today is pink. I think it's pink. I think Joey must have put it in the room because everybody just went hogwire when they put it in pink. So I'm assuming that Joey put it in the room and we're going to announce who wins the mug. All right. Uh, from the stocks that you gave me, the stocks that have the best, the best uh, VST as, as synopsis followed by AI. Uh, VST 1.09, love Southwest. A lot of airline cancellations in the Midwest and the West because of the storm, right? Uh, lithium uh, 1.07, EMKR has got the VST below one. And I will put in the shipping company now. So where does Nat sit as far as VST? Number one now. Uh, not totally fundamentally sound. It's got good upside potential. The safety is not there, but Synopsis does have good fundamentals. And that's the only stock in the list that's got good fundamentals all the way around. And it's overvalued. Just about all these stocks are overvalued. No, Southwest is undervalued, overvalued, overvalued. And the tanker company is undervalued as well. Let's graph these. So we've already analyzed them from a fundamental analysis. Let's go look at a one month graph. Nat looks good. Look at that. Right at uh, one month level of resistance sitting at 386. I love the equity curve. I like that. I like that stock. Uh, SNPS is coming off a level of support. All right. I'd like to see the 38 cross. The volume is there. I like the bounce. I like the bounce. Let's see if the 38 to cross. And if it does, I'm going to give you an initial um, uh, point of get out at, or, or initial price target of 373.03. All right. It's not that far from it. Uh, AI, AI was hot, man. AI was hot and heavy. It's pulled off, pulling off of that level of the high, pulling down. But as I look, it does have a solid level of support. It does have a solid level of support. All right. And ugh, I like that at least it is leveling out. It is consolidating. I'd like to see it break up though. Too late for bearish trades after BSR. I'm, you know, something I'm in a couple of countries, as I mentioned, from a bearish side, but uh, I'm going to hold them. I'm going to look and see what the, because the market has a way of shaking you out. And then all of a sudden the market goes back down again. Love is below a good level of support right here. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And it's trending lower. Three, eight is negative and broke through a level of support in the last three days. Yeah. I'm not feeling love right now. I'm not feeling the love. Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? All right. It's not there. Um, the, the lithium stock, man, pulled back. I do like the bounce. I do like the bounce. Might have a level of support at 22.29, but the 3.8 haven't crossed. If I'm not in it, I'm not thinking about getting into it until the 3 crosses back above the 8. And the last stock in here is EMKR. Nice move. Broke through a level of resistance yesterday, came back, tested as a level of support below it, but the 3 8 are still in play. So I'd leave it be. I'd leave it be if I own it. All right, Joey, who won the mug? Who won the mug? Did he put it? There it is. James. James Crutz won the mug. You got the mug. James, are you still here? James, are you still here? You got to let me know if you're still here because if you're not here, if you're not here, I'm going to give it to somebody else. James, are you, James, are you still here? I found a graphite stock. GPO, what the heck is that? Graphite stock, GP, hot? I ain't got it. 
All right, that's two stocks I got to go, go look at. G-P-H-O-T and O-C-E-A. All right, uh, James, are you here? Yeah, you are. You are there. Excellent. James, in order to claim your prize, you have to send an email to... Uh, yeah, connect at vectorvest.com. G P O F. Connect at vectorvest.com. There it is, graphite one. That I have. I right, connect at vectorvest.com and we will send your mug out to you. It's going to be the big mug too, like this. The big, the bigger mug. You're going to get the bigger mug. All right. So there we go. And for those of you who want a new mug, uh, you can go to our store. Go to www. Uh, Joey can put the link in there. Uh, forward slash merchandise. Uh, www. forward slash merchandise. All right. And uh, if you want to buy something from the store, we're giving fifteen percent off. But if you want twenty percent off, use promo code Glen twenty three. G L E N N two N's. Glen twenty three. We want a hoodie next. Um, talk to Joey uh, and Maria. I did put that in here. Here's the graphic, the graphite stock. Thank you. Uh, if I look at it, overvalued, not fundamentally sound, but it is moving up in price right now. But it is moving up in price right now. All right, that's the only thing I got going for it, and it's a hold. Um, graphite is something we can keep our eyes on, and now at least I got a stock for it. Can I have a price, please, Alberto? No, I can't just give it to you. All right, maybe we give away. Joey, can we do that next time? Can we give away a hoodie instead of a mug? All right, maybe we'll think about uh, the next giveaway. We'll give away a hoodie. Maybe we'll think about it next week. What was the result of for the Call of Duty? Can I use the promo code Glenn23 for a 15% discount on the stocks? I put no. <laughs> no. I don't know. Joey didn't show me what the um, what the results were. Let me scroll up. Oh, there it is. 46% says yes. 34% says, how bad is that? No, it says no. Full complete. Yes. Uh, anyway, more people say yes. Yeah. 36% said no. 34%, how is someone that bad? All right, so 46% said yes. 46% said yes. All right. All right, we didn't get to 300 people. We did get over 100 likes, though. Glenn offered Joey a hoodie to play. <laughs> I need a laugh button. I so need a laugh button. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, right, anyway, thank you guys for being here today. Uh, if you felt it was worth your time to be here, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're brand new to the channel and you think that there is some opportunity for you to learn more about a lot of the stuff that we offer on the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. I gotta go. All right, Glenn's shirt is light purple red and to prove it, it has all his t-shirts and underwear the same color after his wife had him to do the laundry. Hi, uh, sigh. All right. Anyway, I got to go. Uh, next live stream will be on Monday. Don't forget to check out tomorrow's video. Uh, it's going to be another tool that the VectorVest system has that you don't want to miss out on. You don't want to miss out. It's going to come out tomorrow at 6 p.m. With that, adios, arrivederci, ciao, au revoir, sayonara, aloha to all my peeps in Hawaii. All my peeps over in the Midwest and the West that are going through all of these storms, please be careful, bundle up and stay warm, okay? Bom dia, salam, shalom, namaste, yasu. Until next time, folks, see ya.